Hey guys, Andrea Stevens here, and today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about um, detoxing your armpits, and I just wanna share with you a really great recipe that I use for kind of a pit powder thing. So really quick, one of the reasons that we like to detox our armpits or that we need to goes back to the crazy um, chemicals and ingredients and things that we find in our traditional antiperspirants and deodorants that are over the counter. Um, some of the things that are in them, uh, especially parabens, and the fragrance and different chemicals that we have can be really um, harmful, especially in that they clog up our armpits, they clog up our sweat glands, and it's actually really important for us to sweat. And so that's not something that we necessarily want to be in the habit of fully eliminating. But then again, none of us really wanna sweat, and certainly we don't wanna smell. And so um, going through the detox process Using the doTERRA detox protocol is a really good time to do that. Um, or if you just want to detox just your armpits, um, I am going to tell you it's going to take you two to three weeks. It's not going to be the most pleasant of time. Um, I believe that it's really important. I think that's something that we should all do and just think to yourself, as soon as I'm through it, um, I'm done. I don't have to do this again and it's, and it's gonna be really awesome. It's gonna be health, more healthy for my armpits. Um, even some people would say for breast health, there's a lot of stuff that's coming out lately um, talking about you know connection between uh, breast health and, and um, the aluminum and different things like that that, are, that we find in our deodorants and antiperspirants. So, um, for me, the process was made a little bit easier by making sure to drink a lot of lemon and, and water every day help to kind of flush your system. Um, when you go through that process, it, it's gonna be sticky and it's gonna be a little bit stinky. And so you definitely wanna be prepared that you're gonna be wanting to refresh and maybe shower, um, you know, like a damp washcloth, that kind of thing. So think of your oils like maybe um, lemon and melaleuca. Those are gonna help you a lot through that time. If there's any irritation because of the sweating, obviously lavender, um, helichrysum, maybe even some immortel, things that are good and, and nourishing for our skin, um, some of that's gonna help. I will say that, um, here I'll show you that the doTERRA um, deodorant um, that they have has some really great skin oils in it and it has um, a, a base of coconut oil. And so this is gonna be good to maybe help a little bit with the odor, but it's not gonna help at all. It's not an antiperspirant. So antiperspirant is what's gonna help with that sweating and the moisture. And so this isn't going to necessarily help with that. But this can help with the odor. Okay. So after you kind of get through your couple of weeks and you feel like, all right, I'm detox. My body's feeling good. My arms are feeling good, but it is summer and we don't want to sweat and we don't want to stink and whatever. So I have created a really simple, um, through lots of trial and error. I'll just say that I've made a ton of DIY deodorants. Um, I've used this and for me, it comes down to the sweating and the odor control. I need moisture and, or, and odor control. And um, especially with spring and summer coming and you know being outside and, and that kind of stuff, and we live in Texas, most of us. Um, so anyway, this is truly just a, a couple of ingredients and it's easy to get. So the first ingredient, um, is arrowroot and I prefer arrowroot over cornstarch. They're very similar in their properties and what they do. Um, but arrowroot does not come from a corn base and so you don't have to worry about GMOs. You don't have to worry about chemicals and pesticides. And I like to choose, it is gluten free. So people with gluten sensitivity, you know, this is good for them. Um, and I like to choose um, a company that makes natural or organic. Um, I mean, we are putting this on our body and especially in an area where we're close to a lot of lymph nodes um, and you know glands and that kind of stuff. And so remember, we just spent all of that time detoxing, so let's be sure that we're not going to retoxify that area. And then the next main ingredient that you're gonna use is um, like a bentonite clay or a natural clay. Um, this is one that I picked up. I, I got this, I believe, on Amazon. But there's um, lots of different kaolin clay, bentonite clays. Uh, clays and, and natural earth clays are really helpful to our body, and they're going to really help against um, the, the odor uh, absorption and the moisture absorption, and they actually have some... Um, stuff in them that helps to uh, repel uh, the, the moisture. Um, I also really like to add a tablespoon of zinc oxide. 
Um, I don't have that sitting with me right here, but it's a powder and you can also get that on Amazon or a couple of different places. Zinc oxide um, is used a lot of times in sunscreen. Um, it, is, it is a repellent, a moisture repellent or a water repellent, which is why it's a, it's a good product to be in a sunscreen. I will say you want to definitely um, make sure that you're getting an organic. Um, it is a natural product. Um, just watch the, you know, where you're sourcing it from and you're not gonna use very much of it. Um, but so yeah, that's basically your three ingredients. You're gonna use arrowroot, um, a clay powder, and um, zinc oxide. Now, if you are not sensitive and you don't have any issues with baking soda, baking soda is something else that you could actually split with the arrowroot in a 50-50. Um, I, I tend to be sensitive to that. My armpits don't do well with arrowroot, I mean with um, baking soda. So um, for me, I just, I found um, a container like this. This is basically like a sugar shaker, something that you would use for powdered sugar typically. Um, just not very expensive. I got mine on Amazon because I get everything on Amazon. Um, and so I do six tablespoons of arrowroot, or again, you can mix it three tablespoons arrowroot, three tablespoons of baking soda if you prefer. Um, I do one tablespoon of the betonite clay and then I do a teaspoon of zinc oxide, um, and that's it. Uh, then I just, whatever essential oils. Now, I will say that one of the over-the-counter products when I was learning to detoxify and trying to find other solutions, one of the products that worked really well for me was a certain brand of a, of a body powder that they have, um, and I could find one that was in a menthol. It worked really well, but it had some products in it that are it has talc number one the number one product was talc and we are learning lots and lots of things unfortunately right now about the the dangers of talc in our system and how it can affect different body systems and, and stuff negatively so i knew i needed to get away from that but the but the smell and the cooling effect that was in that particular body powder was awesome and so i wanted to try to replicate that so for me um it was eucalyptus um put that where you can see eucalyptus and peppermint and that really gives that menthol um that scent and that feel and so you have the cooling um and i, I don't know how it just it feels really good and it's soothing and it's um it's a really great scent and then i also i also throw in some melaleuca now for me in this particular size container I do um, 10 drops of each of the oils, but you, you could choose to have a more citrus scent if you wanted to. You could choose a serenity and just kind of a calming. You could choose lavender. I mean, you can go crazy with your oils and anything that you feel like um, that your body wants or the scent that you're after, um, you can create that. For me, I really enjoy that cooling, fresh, soothing um, feel and scent that the peppermint and the eucalyptus give me. And so that's it, guys. Um, six tablespoons of arrowroot, one tablespoon of clay, a teaspoon of zinc oxide for the re moisture repellent, and then um, 10 drops each of whatever kind of oils you want. I stick them in here, I use a little whisk, I stir it up really good, and this is a good month supply. Um, sometimes I even get about six weeks out of it, and you just, in your hand, and you can powder up, and um, it actually works really well alongside of the natural deodorant. This, because this does have some soothing and some skin oils and some good properties in it that help. So a natural deodorant and then a little bit of the powder for the drying effect and you've got yourself a fantastic antiperspirant. All natural, no chemicals, no nasties and ickies and you don't have to worry about your breast health or your pit health and you're gonna smell great and feel great. So um, I will put this recipe uh, below this video. I, I have a link for it for, with a printout where you can print the recipe. I will make sure that that link gets put there. And then um, if you have any other questions, feel free to just uh, comment below and I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks, bye.